Hawaiian Racing for the Dalton and Horrell Novice Riders final. Racing towards fence one of the 18 and Creepy bounces out with the early lead in the hands of Charlie D. As a lead of three lengths over the first from Beggar's Velvet on the inside of four and against as they make their way down to number two. And it's Creepy with a lead of a couple of lengths in the noseband as they take the second from four and against. And on the inside, Beggar's Velvet, who rather plunged at the second fence, and is now the overall back marker. Two circuits to go then in the Dodson and Horrell Novice Riders final of 2017, won last year by Real Milan and Jack Jones. And the leader this time around is Creepy and Charlie D as they face up to the open ditch for the first time. It's number three from on the outside, forward against an Izzy Marshall, and on the inside to find Beggar's Velvet and Amy Cox. So turning right-handed to race up the hill towards fence number four, and as they do so, it's Creepy in the light green with the red spots, bouncing along in front here. From in second place, Beggar's Velvet in the dark blue with the yellow braces on the inside of four and against the red jacket with the yellow cap as they turn right-handed now to race on down the far side for the first occasion. And Creepy leading up by a length and a half here at a medium sort of gallop, not going too slowly, from Beggar's Velvet on the inside of four and against, sharing second place as they move down towards the first fence in the back. Creepy jumped out well from Beggar's Velvet who jumped through into second momentarily, past four and against on the outside as they move to the middle one now in the back straight. Creepy saw a good stride, jumped it well again, as did all of them. From Beggar's Velvet on the inner and four and against out wider as they come to the final fence over in the back straight and they're all over safely once more and again pretty much 10 out of 10 the lot of them. And now they head on this long run out of the back straight and the lead remains with Creepy here in the hands of Charlie D by just over a length leading from the two girls in behind. Izzy Marshall on the outside for and against and Amy Cox above Beggar's Velvet on the inside. Turning right-handed out to the back straight to race down towards the cross fence. Any, any fence on the circuit they've yet to jump so far. And Creepy leading up by just over a length here was a very smart horse for Martin Keithley under rules. And leads up here by just over a length to four and against himself. Pretty smart as well for David Pipe a few years ago. Youngest horse in the field here at the age of eight as he'll take the cross fence well. And Beggar's Velvet, another pretty smart horse under rules with Fergal O'Brien in the past. As now they enter the home straight once again, they've completed a circuit in today's feature. And Creepy continues to have the lead from on the outside, for and against. Beggar's Velvet back along the inner as they take the first fence in the straight safely once again. They're all jumping nicely this field of three. And for and against is now putting it up to Creepy for the first this time in the race, Creepy has some opposition for the lead as they take the fence which will be the last next time and four and against landed in front there with a really good lead from Creepy on the inside. Little to split them now on the level however and the pair have opened up by three or four lengths to Beggar's Velvet in third. A circuit to go in today's feature and Creepy and four and against have the lead facing up to the open ditch for the final time. Sharing the lead with four and against landing narrowly in front, only by a neck or so to Creepy on the inside. Beggar's Velvet is now four lengths down in third place, just being squeezed along ever so slightly by Amy Cox in third. Heading to the uphill fence to race away from us, and four and against jumped that really well. Creepy made a mistake and dropped back to be last, with Beggar's Velvet jumping up well on the inside and overtaking Creepy, the early pace setter. So now the girls heading off in front. Amy Cox on the inside, Beggar's Velvet and Izzy Marshall and four and against on the outer. One and two with Creepy now third but is now moving closer again on the approach to the first fence down the back. Almost three abreast heading to the first fence down the far side where four and against held a narrow lead from Creepy on the inside. Beggar's Velvet up amongst horses right in the centre as well. Three in line taking the middle one down the back with four and against on the outer outside of Beggar's Velvet and Creepy on the inner as they face up to four from home, final one down the back. Beggar's Velvet landed with a very narrow lead from four and against on the outside. Creepy is a length away in third position. 
So heading on this long run back to three out, which comes up on the side of the course, and for and against, and Beggar's Velvet are sharing the lead here as they turn right-handed out of the back, with Creepy now two or three lengths down, if not a little bit more, back in third, and just struggling to go with the front pair is Creepy, and losing ground all the time, heading down towards the third from home. For and against on the outside, hoping to give Alan Hill a double here. But on the inside, Beggar's Velvet and Amy Cox as they head down towards towards the third from home, four and against on the outer, maybe holding a narrow lead into the wings of the third last, but Beggar's Velvet jumped to the front there, from four and against in second, they've got about a 10 or 12 length break over Creepy, who's cooked back in third, turning for home with two more left to jump, on the left, Beggar's Velvet holding a narrow lead, from four and against on the right, who's trying to battle back, heading down towards the second last, Beggar's Velvet holding a narrow lead at the second last, but four and against is only a length down on the near side and he's trying hard to close, Beggar's Velvet from on the near side, forward against who's trying hard but time is running out and if anything, Beggar's Velvet is finding more, final fence, Beggar's Velvet winged it in the hands of Amy Cox from in second place, forward against who has no more to offer and heading up to the line, punched out by Amy Cox, Beggar's Velvet is going to score decisively in the hands of Amy Cox, Beggar's Velvet wins the Dodson and Horrell Novice Riders final for 2017 being forward against it second and creepy a very tight horse finished third